here's the thing which I which I share with people is is that the penalty for not eating has to be severe, Sonia. Because if it's not severe, you and I wouldn't be here. Right. You see, you see, you've got to breathe, you've got to drink water, you've got to eat food to stay alive. You don't need to do anything else. You put those three things in your body to stay alive. Okay? So if you don't breathe for five minutes, you're gonna be dead. So there's a strong reaction to someone when they block your airway. You will fight to get <laughs> exactly. in. Exactly. With water, you have this thing called thirst, which makes you thirsty. It's, it's, a, it's a mechanism to save us from death. It says, oh, I need to drink, I now, need to drink, you're right? Saying that. And hunger is the same thing. Hunger is a mechanism to allow us, to remind us to eat. So for two or three days of not eating and just putting water or Gee. what I like to say, water filtered through plants, which right. is what juice is. I like that, okay? I like that too. That's what it is. Yes. It's the same thing. Right. It has the same effect. So when it hits your stomach, your body doesn't know that it was water from a plant. It just thinks it's water. Because wow. it doesn't have the fiber in it, your body does not, it, it, the, the, the way that your body assimilates that nutrition, the enzymes are not generated. And because those enzymes are not generated, your brain gets a message saying, you know what, Joe? It's been 12 hours, mate, and you haven't eaten. You know what, Joe? It's been 24 hours and you haven't eaten. We're going to turn I'm up the headache. I'm getting hungry thinking We're going to turn up the pain. Wait, so you got, so for the first, how long did you First 72 hours, I thought like a Mack truck had run over me and then reversed back over me. I thought I was going to die. So you just felt headache, did, anger, you, frustration. I could take up the rest of this interview <laughs> with 2,000 profanity words of how I felt. <laughs> I had never felt as bad in that first three days. Because remember, I went from somebody who was incredibly toxic, who was living on white, brown, and black food, okay? And I didn't even have the sense, because I didn't know what I know mm. now, to actually start putting some high fiber foods through my body when I was gonna start my juicing. My last meal was chocolate shakes and sundaes and burgers and sushi and beer. So it's just a So then to that, now I've got no fiber. So now I'm blocked up. So I mean, I'm Meaning telling blocked you, up, you couldn't go to the toilet either? Number twos were sorry, not on the radar. Sorry, we weren't going to go into it. No, I've spent my whole life now talking about number twos. I mean, that's what, what goes in must come out, right? So, so nothing came out. No, for the first three days, I was in serious trouble. I mean, I was in, I was like. But why was that? Sorry, I hate to even ask. Why is that? Because I had no fiber in my food. I was oh. like high processed. And because I'm drinking juice now without the, what's called the, the soluble fiber. Yeah. I, sorry, the insoluble fiber. Okay, no insoluble, which is the stuff you can see. Right. Now there's no assistance. So the bottom line was, I was a happy boy on day four and five because number two started working. <laughs> and I had some relief. <laughs> But I'm still going through massive withdrawals. I'm going through a caffeine withdrawal, a sugar withdrawal. So I mean, headache? I don't think headache does it justice, what okay. I was going through. Oh. Talk about having nails driven See, into I, your brain. It didn't seem that bad in the movie. You, you actually seemed quite jolly, maybe because you're quite a jolly person. No, no, well, no, here's, the, here's what happened, right? Now, because, because I didn't know anything about making films. Because I thought I'd films. be literally just strangle somebody and because throw Because I didn't know anything ground. about making films, I had locked them out because I didn't want to have this on camera. Stupid, right? Oh, because that's because yeah, I so bet. You, so, you, so I let them in a few times to see me in bed on the third or fourth day, which you, there's a few shots. Right. But the reality was is that I was like, leave me alone. And, I think this is not going to work. And by Phil, you knew that because you saw Phil going through it. Correct. Yeah, I wanted to see you really suffering, not not to be me. No, 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 a lot of people did. <laughs> but, but, but had I known how to make a movie, I would have had the cameras follow me four or five days before. I would have shown the last meal, but I didn't know. But you would have killed him by know. that point. You would I didn't have been know. in such a bad mood, especially when I went to Mexican. So you, so after the five days, you felt better because you'd done number two. And yeah. then, then you just started getting better and better. It wasn't only because of going to the bathroom. It was more the fact that it, it doesn't take long. And, and this, is, this, is, this is the magic of the human body, okay, is that... After like 72 hours of not eating any food and going through all those signals mm -hmm. that the brain says, Joe, we are gonna make this the single focus point for you to get food because without food, we and you are gonna die. You think about your four trillion cells that are all in unison harmony singing saying, Joe, go and eat food. That's what happens when you starve yourself. You go to this point where everything is about eating, but then, through the wonders and magic of Mother Nature, you switch over to a point where in order to survive, the brain says, you know what? Plan A isn't working. 
actually making Joe miserable, making Joe angry, making Joe with headaches, making him exhausted, that's not helping us find How food. How cool is the body? We are back on the savannah. Wow. So when there's a famine on, yeah. we need this period of time to now switch and turn off hunger. So I can honestly say from day five to day 60, I was not hungry once because hunger turns off. Now the body is on the hunt for food. So eyesight, incredibly sharp. Because why? Back on the savannah, That's you want to be able to see vegetables wow. and you want to be able to see food. Hearing, off the chart. Okay, smell, blowing me away that I could finally smell for the first time in my life. Because when you eat a lot of processed food, you're blocking those sorts of smells. And this is what the tens of thousands of people that have followed in my footsteps, the biggest thing they talk about is how their senses come alive on day four or five, that they've never known what their senses were like. And then of course, the big thing is the ability to focus, the ability to concentrate, because now you haven't got the ups and downs of the sugars or the caffeines or the processed food. You haven't got the fats, you haven't got the liver working overtime to process. You've got this incredible peacefulness and harmony. So now the body is what, you know, what I call survival mode because it's out to try and find energy. So when I, what I was doing is I'm still tricking it, you see, Sonia, I'm tricking it because I'm not just drinking water, I'm giving my body all the nutrients from plants. Right. And, and here's something, we'll go back to our little stick of celery. I here. love celery. Okay, so when you eat this celery, okay, when you I eat I used it, to eat this growing up just like that. Well, that's why you look so good no, as but you I, do now, that's right? I love celery. So, so if you eat this, okay, Yep. What essentially is going to happen in your body is you are going to masticate it with your teeth and you chew it up. What's going to happen is, and let's just say we take out like a little piece here like this, okay, and we do that. And I'm you dying hold, to you chew hold it. that, okay, so can you I put, chew, yeah, can yeah, I put eat? that in, put that in. When you do, mm. when you are doing that, I love keep, oh, what's going on now is you're masticating it. Your body is getting ready in your stomach mm. to receive this celery. Now, what is the celery made up of? It's made up of water. It's made up of phytonutrients and it's made up of a like cellulose. Strings. What's well, a string? cellular structure is mm -hmm. the fiber. Okay. It's, it's, the, it's the structure that's holding the plant mm -hmm. together. Now, here's something that a lot of people don't realize. There is zero nutrients, no nutritional benefit at all in that fiber for your system when it gets, di when it gets digested into your gut. Really? No. What it's great for... It's great for slowing down metabolism of if it's got some sugars and it's great for bowel movement oh, and colon. Back to number two. So it's great for that. But when we're talking about being assimilated by the gut and what's absorbed in and sent to it's the not cells. Necessary. Not, well, well, not necessary. Well, not that's not necessary. There is no benefit at all from fiber. Okay. okay. So what we do when we are juicing is we are essentially outsourcing the digestion to a machine. We are stripping out that cellulose we are bringing the water with all the nutrients so that it's rapid absorption. So what, when you juice celery, the exact same effect is happening to your four trillion cells as when you just ate it. The difference is now, now you've got some fiber that you need to exit the door. And because you've got the fiber in your body now, your body's reminded that you are not on a famine, that you are on a feast. But so you, you are gonna be... get hungry in a couple of hours because you've eaten. So to reboot, you actually can't have the fiber. That's, well, that's correct. I mean, I talk about juicing and rebooting in two different distinct ways. There's the way where you are doing a reboot juice only. That's when you are going back in time and you are creating a famine. So trying to lose weight. No, I think about that not for losing weight. I think about that for trying to regain health and get yourself off some kind of chronic illness. Wow. That's how I think of it. That's great. Well, then I talk about juicing on a regular day, every day, to incorporate juices and smoothies as part of a regular That's balanced That's what I approach. would do, yeah. right? Okay. So there's, there's two ways. There's, it's not one or the other. Some people do both. Some people just do one, which is the regular way. But I don't encourage people to juice specifically to lose weight because what will happen I like is, that because that just puts too much pressure on yeah, you. Yeah, and also what it does is it doesn't do anything for the long term. I kind of want this celery. Okay, go ahead. It doesn't do anything for the long term in terms of helping you maintain and be strong in terms of your choices. So to me, there's, 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 there's that benefit of rebooting the system so that you start to actually crave and love plant food. Wow. So once you came to New York, mm -hmm. we didn't get all the mean stuff on camera. No, and, but, and I didn't tell you why I went to 60 days from 40. Either. Oh yeah, tell so, me that. So, so when I was sitting down with a crew and I said, I'm gonna juice for 40 days, one of the guys said, you know what, actually Joe, just to, don't, I just don't wanna 
say too much out loud, but you know your initials are JC. And there was another Jesus bloke. Christ. There was another bloke who did 40 days. Oh, so maybe you should say not like try Jesus and bring that. I said, you're right. Maybe I should do 60 days just to knock I, that bloke out of the park. Wow, oh, so wow. We put the challenge out to do 40 days instead of 60, which I'm actually glad I did the 60. In fact, if there were no cameras running, I actually probably would have gone longer. I was really? feeling so. Oh, yeah. I was, I was, I had never felt better than that. Would have gone 90? Life. I probably would have gone 100. I, I was feeling the best I'd ever felt in my life on day 60. Never felt better in my life.